Hi, it's the fishing sister here. Today I'm in the Deep Creek Conservation Park at a place called Blowhole Beach. Never been here before and it's absolutely gorgeous. We're the only ones here and um, yeah, we've just got to walk down to the beach behind here. It's actually not too bad at all. It looks like quite an easy walk. We're going to fish over here on these rocks. It was actually a pretty rough track coming down. We do need a four wheel drive. There's a wave coming in, it looks like we might get a bit wet. See if I've got ink bait left on my hooks. If I'm just sitting here with empty hooks. Oh no, I've got someone. Might just freshen that up, change my hooks. Changing my setup to the double hooks. It just secures the pilchards better. Okay, so the double hook. This is the one that keeps, keeps it in place. So you just secure it with your main hook. And then you come in with your keeper hook up here and you just secure it at the top. And it just gives it that extra hold in the surf. Okay, so this is a bit big, it just makes it a bit smaller. Okay, so you use the main hook in, your, in the flesh of it down here. Like so. And then you use your keeper hook at the top. And that just keeps it in place like that. Put some pilchard in the spring, squish it in there, like so, and we're good to go. Swing. And that is much better. That's exactly where I wanted to be. Fishing is all about patience and waiting. also really enjoying the surroundings while you're doing it. So good just to be standing out here in the fresh air instead of being in the office all week at the desk. This is, feels so healthy and fresh. I think I'm on. Yeah, definitely. I get it in over the rocks. It doesn't feel very big. Let's get it in. Oh, nice salmon trout. That's a nice one. Nothing, not too bad. Okay, let's have a look. Oh, isn't it pretty? Okay, so it's on the red hook, so I've got the double hooks in. Oh no, it's got both. Let's just check the size. Looks like about maybe 20 centimetres. Oh, 
24-ish, 25. That's better. That's much better. I think I'm one. Yeah. Let's see what we've got. Let's have to bring it in over the rocks. Because it's... Oh, it's a little salmon trout. Oh, it's a mullet. It's a mullet. <laughs> Trying to make a break for it, it was. Little bugger. About 23, 24, that's not bad. Nice little mullet. I keep these cards so that I know about the size limits and all that kind of thing. So I just caught a mullet. 21 centimetres is, is the minimum. So that one was nearly 24. They're a good bait fish. Oh, it's a Tommy Ruff. Wow, three different fish, different varieties this morning. Oh no, yeah, it's a Tommy Ruff. It's got the distinctive tail markings. It's got the rough skin. That's definitely a Tommy. You know, if anyone can get stuff on <laughs> yeah, it's me. <laughs> what have I done now? Look. Oh my god. <laughs> you just have to laugh. It's been so much time trying to untangle myself. Alright, let's get this burly in there because they're coming into feed, so we have to give them. Look at that, I'm getting myself tangled again and I haven't even got it out there. The water's getting really milky, churned up. I think I might be stuck actually. Martin's definitely got something on. Let's see what it is. I've got myself stuck. <laughs> oh yeah. Oh, that's a nice size. Salmon trout. How get them across? That is a lovely salmon trout. Look at that, Martin. Fresh fish, Hayes brought that in. That was on the um Fresh Tommy. Th that was on the fresh Tommy. Appreciates good food, this fish. Wow. It's not far off being an adult. That one, it's getting that dark green colour. It's got to be 31. Got to bleed it. When the fish is a bit bigger, you should bleed it. 
apparently it affects the flavour but it's good to bleed it in the burley gives it gives it a bit more flavour there we go get that in there look at that oh So the GoPro's died, so we're using the phone to sign off for today. Had a great few hours down here. The tides come in and the water's all churned up and murky now, so it's not very nice. So packing it in for today. Used a range of different baits, caught a few different types of fish today. So actually used maggots and some pilchards, but once caught some tommies, put tommies on as bait, ended up catching a lot of crabs so given up on that so this is the catch for today thrown a few tommies back but um you can see there's a really nice salmon trout there a couple of salmon trouts a couple of tommies and and a mullet so that'll be good eating for tonight yeah so it was a really nice spot blow hell beach down here at um deep creek conservation park so this is a fishing sister saying goodbye <laughs>